So here you can see we've removed a plastic push pin, an Allen head screw, another plastic push pin, push pin, push pin, held these together. One right here. We removed the screw out of this side panel so we could pull it out to access another plastic push pin right behind here. Then we took out the two plastic push pins, one right underneath the emblem there, one right underneath the emblem there. And we can pull out this side panel and you get easy access to the clips on the back of the emblem. You can also get easy access to the bushing to replace the bottom door bushing. So now we're gonna pop off the spring clips off the back, retaining clips off the back. And if you reach in with your 90 degree pick, you can bend up the, a couple of the ears on it and they pop right off. And once you pull those off, the emblem pops right off of there. So you had on the original emblem, you have these little studs and a spring clip. And the spring clip just pushes on the back of it and that's what's supposed to hold it in place. They're extremely brittle. They break right off with the slightest pressure. That's why you lose your emblems all the time. So our emblems come with both side emblems, a rear emblem and a hood emblem. And they come with the hardware here. As you can see here where the emblem goes, all the holes are slotted except the center hole right in the center of the end. We have four slotted holes there, a round hole, and then five slotted holes there. So we're gonna take our emblem, and we'll line up the first hole, put a screw in from the back, no washer, line it up with the center hole on the end, and start the screw in. Now again, we're doing plastic on, screw it into plastic with a metal screw. So you don't wanna tighten any of them down at this point, all the way. Get that center one started. Then you can randomly go to the other ones. Then you can randomly go down the rest of the emblem to finish off all 10 screws. So these emblems are made, color matched with a PETG plastic, which resists heat, sun fading, cracking, uh, resists cold, much, much better than the standard PLA plastic that most people use. The most common is PLA plastic. We use PETG for all of our gauge pods, switch panels, emblems, um, bushings, every, everything basically we make for the talon is in a PETG plastic. Now we have the last screw in, we can go back and just snug the screws down to take up any slack between the emblem and the body panel. As you can see, 
there's our mounted emblem. Looks much better than the factory silver emblem. Much stronger. So here we have the rear emblem on machines without accessories added. All you have is three of these Allen head bolts across the back. One there, one there, one there. And then you have a push pin on either end. Pop the push pins out. Take out that Allen headed bolt. And this back cover comes, plastic cover comes right off. It's very easy to get to the emblem on the back. So there you have the back of the rear emblem with all those little clips. And again, we just have to pop those little clips off and screw in the emblem from the back. So we're gonna pop those little clips off. So from the outside, this is what they look like. Center, single center hole again. Four slots on the right, five slots on the left. You do the same as the door, turn it around, put the screws in from the back. Again, with no washers, that's only for the hood emblem. And start with the center one, and then the two opposite ends, and then you can fill in the rest, and then snug them up when they're all in. And there we have the Honda emblem installed on the back. Now we just take it back, install three screws across the top and the two push pins on the end for the plastic. And it's back on the machine. And there we have the emblem on the machine. It's had a bed extender. That's why it didn't have the Allen bolt right there on the center. Exactly. Push pin and push pin. So here we're going to be putting on the color matching emblem for the hood that matches the color of the machine, just like the side emblems. And this is where we're going to be using the washers along with the same screws. And it's held on the same way as the other ones. Except there are seven clips on the back of this. And there you have the emblem off. And you have a separate bag that has washers in it. And you have your screws. And you have your emblem. Same thing, start with the center, since it is a straight hole where the other ones are slotted. So with that center hole, bolt started. 
and make sure you put a washer on each one of these. This emblem is a little bit thinner to match the original. So we need the washer in there to space it back just a little bit. You can also get these emblems in uh, any of the Honda colors and also black. And there's an option on the drop down to get your blue, red, orange, or green with a black emblem. Or if you just choose blue, red, orange, or green, you'll get the hood emblem in the same color as the other emblem. started and snug them all down slightly. And we're going into plastic so don't over tighten. A few extra washers in there in case you drop some. And there you have the Honda hood emblem. So there you have the color matching hood emblem to the rest of the emblems. It's the same exact size as the original, just in matching colors.